Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you love my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Okay, discussion piece on my Tinder preparation pouch. I said I wouldn't do another one on it, but I did find a few more pieces for it. Um, very lucky finds. It was I was going through the dollar store again, and I keep finding brilliant little bits and pieces for it. Um, another place, Officeworks here in Australia, had some gear that I thought was worth adding to it. Um, cutting mat. Bargain Plus, $2.95 for a little cutting mat. So I thought, oh, perfect size, fits in the pouch, um, brilliant. I left the plastic thing on it at the moment eventually it'll get taken off it's a little just for put it down saves if there's it's wet on the ground the cutting mat goes down i can prepare tinders on it i won't be able to burn on it because it's plastic or that rubberized stuff but fantastic and it's perfect size fits in my little pouch as if it was made for it shown you all them before, um, the spider or colander, the paint scraper, put a set of tong, ember tongs, this is the cheap set with a ranger band on it, the smiths, the pouch itself, okay, then I've got the, um, another pouch inside it, wax canvas and a couple of okay that's the whole thing our office works the stat letter I thought this was a plastic one but it's, this is a sharpener, but it's got the metal sharpener inside there. It's the double one, so it's got the big hole and the little hole. But it's got a tinder collector there. So shavings falls into there, falls into there, pour it out. Beautiful. This was, um, I wrote it down here, $5, $5.76 for a metal sharpener. Couldn't pass it up. The normal metal sharpeners I were buying were 10 bucks. This one's got the metal sharpener built into the thing. I think you can take it out too because there's a couple of screws there. So, yeah, all replaceable. So got all the usual um, usual things so put that in there no dramas I've got my T-Rex peeler I showed you that before saw this at the dollar store it's a, a microplane for doing herbs but this is the ultra fine microplane so just for sc scraping so I thought yeah why not get it it's only a little flat one so yeah you can just scrape on it and use it as a scraper had the um, that's that the other sharpener for um, that's the big pencil sharpener for carpenters pencils so I've got one of them Been picking up a couple of these. Now I found another supplier, they are $6.99 on eBay. Then I found another one, that's the two hole one for $5.76. So these were cheaper than buying them on eBay at $6, $7. And then 
normally on eBay they're $10. So I found a supplier on eBay for cheaper and then I can buy the one with uh, at Officeworks for cheaper again. So I'm going to be buying them from it. Office works, obviously. So I've got the they're the three sharpeners. Also saw this at Office Works. This is a study mate sharpener metal. Looks about probably not. It's almost the same made in China one. These ones are made in France, I think. Not sure. No, this one's made in China too. Doesn't surprise me. Um, but this one's a dollar fifty. So it's a metal sharpener. It's got replaceable blades, but they're different again. So yeah. But if you want to go a slightly cheaper version, you can for a dollar fifty. I thought I'd pick one up just to. Um, I'll, I'll do a comparison, but I th I think. The stad letter. Um, I think they're a, a pretty darn good sharpener for an uh, extra couple of bucks. Uh, I I just and I really really like this idea of the um, of the collection unit with it. So you know, like yeah, that's um that that worked out really well. Then just the usual stuff. I've got my little pocket plane. I've all showed you all these before. Then I've got my little um, zester in there and a um, surgical blade, um, scalpel. So that's it, yeah. I, I just wanted to show you the extra, few extra bits and pieces I've got in there. So yeah, they um, it, it's rounded out now. I don't think I will and I said that the other day, but um, yeah, I, I, when I saw the map, I thought, yeah, and I saw that. I, I, I got pretty excited about those two bits and pieces and that microplane. That, um, that looks really good. Really interested to see how that one works. It's just got a um, little raised it's stainless steel, so it shouldn't rust. They just make it out of that 304 stainless steel. So, yeah. Just raised dimples, so ultra fine, and yeah, yeah, you just rub uh, rub it on it. So yeah, that's um all all good now. I am um, starting to get a few bits and pieces all connected, uh, all collected up, connected, collected up for um, tinder preparation. I'm pretty happy with the way the kit's turning out actually, because um yeah, it, it, it rounds out pretty well I am um, I don't think I need to add much more into it because it's pretty rounded out as far as it all goes um, yeah I don't know about these um, for the extra couple of bucks I like this idea um, when I opened it up because I actually didn't see in store I thought it was going to be a plastic because they, they do sell a plastic version But when I opened up and saw there was a metal sharpener inside, I thought, yeah, you beauty, you know, like it's, but it's, yeah, for graphite and colour pencils up, the bigger one and then the graphite pencils for the, for the smaller one, so yeah, but uh, neither here nor there, so dollar fifty compared to five bucks, so yeah, it is a, you, you do save a fair bit, and this one looks like it's got pretty good construction. So yeah, if you want to save yourself a few dollars, why not? You know, it's up to you. However you want to go. But um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with those stad letters, um, stad letter um, sharpeners. They're they're pretty good value. You can get the brass ones, but you you jump up to they're fifteen twenty dollars each. It's as simple as that. So yeah, I don't think they're worth the money. Now looking at um. The, the um, metal ones, like the, these metal ones for five or six dollars each. And you, and the brass is just stupidly expensive. Anyway, that's my um, Tinder preparation pouch with a few extra bits added into it. Um, yeah, pretty rented out now. I'm not going to buy, buy that 
bigger pouch because I'll just keep adding stuff to it. I just can't. And this is getting to the point now where it is um, full. So um, that will stop me from adding into it. So, yeah, um, which is good. So, yeah, I don't think I need to add anything else into it. Anyway, thanks for watching.